Hey guys, this is a Magic the Gathering judge, and she has done some very bad things. At one point, she had OnlyFans, but she has stolen from many of the Magic the Gathering community, and she has actually fled to the UK. If this sounds familiar, there is a mana source, uh, my arch nemesis, the mana source who stole half a million dollars and then fled to the UK. So fleeing to Mexico, no longer you know, good for these uh, individuals because they're very diverse. So why not flee to the UK? I'm going to read you uh, the allegations made on her, but the allegation of number 25 is particularly heartbreaking. It's she abandoned her two dogs and two cats is, in, is living in Europe to avoid consequences in America. When you abandon your cats and dogs, this says a lot about you. It says a shit ton. You know, as somebody who does a lot of foster dogs, as you guys might know, if you watch the channel from the Odin days, uh, we fostered 11 dogs and four cats. Uh, yeah, she is exactly the type of person to abandon her pets when it suits her. When it's good for Instagram, so, I, mean, I would not be surprised if she was in Europe and had two more dogs and two more cats just for the uh, social media. But when it comes to feeding them, when it comes to taking care of them, nah. So let's read uh, this list of things. Uh, Kayla. Hey everyone, seems like Kayla owes a bunch of people money and has a done a bunch of shit over the years. If you have a story you'd like to add, DM me, Rodney. All names have been added with explicit consent from the affected parties. I, Rodney sold her a Mox Pearl, $3,000. She claimed it was an OnlyFans customer gift for her. Refused to pay me for a couple months, claimed PayPal was broken, Cast App was broken, would pay me at future events, she did eventually pay me. So this is one of the tactics that OnlyFans people use. If, if they want to buy something from you, make sure you understand. You tell them, hey, it's not a gift. I don't follow your OnlyFans. Who the fuck are you? Right, because they're gonna think it's a gift because they are they do OnlyFans and that's how I OnlyFans works. Harrison Bates, Kayla and I met in uh, Facebook. She drove me to meet to meet me and we started dating in October 2018. I was crazy broke during the relationship, but Kayla was more than willing to offer and pay for things we did or food we ate. In February 2019, she moved in with me and my dad in Los Angeles for a month. Everything was okay. But my dad got extremely sick March 2019 and was put on life support until September 2019. I was a mess at the door at this time emotionally and financially. Kayla offered to help me with money stuff so I wouldn't have to stress out about bills and things. In June 2019, I discovered that Kayla was cheating on me. Oh, God forbid an OnlyFans model cheat on somebody, right? God forbid, right? Food, shopping, travel. I asked, uh, oh, here we go. So uh, cheating, in July 2019, I had discovered that my dad's bank account was heavily used. And I thought that was weird because the only thing that should have been pulled from the account was rent and other bills. I go to the bank, prove to them my dad is in the ICU and can't come. They give me records of the past month. I noticed a lot of chain charges were things Kayla and I was doing. Yeah, her OnlyFans model wasn't pulling this amount of money, homie. It was her dad. Food, shopping, travel, etc. I asked the bank for documents from the beginning of the year and statements say that in March money had started to be spent by Kayla. In September 2019, I had to break the news to my dad that this had happened and when he was able to come home, he created a contract with Kayla saying she will pay us back the amount she spent on things that aren't the bills, etc. She strung us along, making excuses, fake accounts, and chargebacks of PayPal, etc. In 2021, my dad passed from a heart attack. I took over his debt. Um, if your dad passed some legal advice, you don't need to take over his debt. The debt would just go away, so I don't know why he did that. And Kayla hasn't paid much since. At GP Vegas 2019, I, ha I and a few others tried to approach the head judge and tournament organizers about my situation, and they said they couldn't do anything unless there was something legal about Kayla happening at that time. Stole used $24,295.04. Pay to date $12,850 to date. 
signed contract to pay. She was probably close, still close to 2K worth of MTG at the beginning of our relationship, but I don't have proof of that. I mean, this is the despicable behavior, right? I mean, come on, Kayla. You, you got receipts for this shit? Because I'm coming. You know you know how, how ridiculous the mana source is? The mana source is pretty ridiculous. I mean, also a dude who <laughs> ran away to the UK when shit hit the fan, right? Stole everyone's money, ran to the UK, and then tried to make his Magic the Gathering channel. It didn't work. Okay, so let, let's continue on because there is a lot worse off. I mean, I, I kind of, in, in my opinion, somebody who abandons their two cats and two dogs... Just burn in hell, man. Just burn in hell. Those are pets that depend on you. If you if you don't want to have that relationship with a pet, don't have that relationship with a pet. Because when you start it, finish it. Rodney Clay Kayla came to me in 2022 with no proof that Harrison had hit her and put her in the hospital twice in one day. Harrison has a photo of her journal that day says car accident. Riley Keene, Maryland, while we were together, we decided to open two credit cards to earn hotel flow. Oh, come on, man. Opening a credit card with an OnlyFan model. What the fuck are you thinking, dude? Like, what are you thinking? She told her me her credit card credit was fro frozen because his stepmom stole her identity. Oh. Oh. And so we opened them in my name with her as an authorized user. These dudes, so, so okay, no, pause. I don't want to victim blame, but these dudes are dumb as shit, man. This is an OnlyFans model. You know she's an OnlyFans model because you subscribe to her OnlyFans. And you're going to open a credit card in your name with her as an authorized user. What do you think will happen? Right? So see that this is an OnlyFans model who isn't even using her real name. Like this isn't even her real mother effing name. Kayla Davison is not her real name legally. And you're going to open a credit card model. Of, okay. She managed to max out both of them, 15K total, in a few months around the end of our relationship. Getting her to pay me back was a huge pain in the next year or so. But she slowly gave me back around 12.5K total. At some point, she gave me a beta mock Sapphire as collateral, which, of course, was confirmed as fake. Oh, come on, dude. Come on, like, does, does no one have, like, I, I'm, like, you're going to see that there's a trend of her giving fake stuff. Like, like, come on, guys, if it's a beta, if it was a beta sapphire, wouldn't you, um, like, loop it? Wouldn't you, like, light test it, loop it? Like, how do you realize, like, it's, it's a mother effing, it's, it's a beta sapphire. You gotta loop this stuff, man, you gotta loop it because it's gonna be fake every time you know I, I told you that story about that um attractive woman who always goes to the dna comics at the time and she gets the stupid manager to buy all her fake cards with a sob store it's, it's like that man it's stupid part one well we'll continue on because there's 25 things to list <laughs> 